Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and if you're looking to upgrade your phone, but you're not sure if you should go for the Galaxy S9 Plus or the newly launched Note 9, then, well, you've clicked on the right video. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. But let's not waste any time, let's get down to brass tacks. And in my opinion, the Note 9 is clearly the better phone. It's got more storage, more RAM on the higher spec model, a bigger screen, a much bigger battery, and of course, it has the S Pen. So with all that, why would anyone even consider buying the S9 Plus? Well, for two reasons, really. Firstly, it is actually more comfortable to hold. It's a little bit smaller, although actually it's only a 0.2 inch difference in screen size. But the more rounded corners and that slightly smaller overall size means it does feel a fair bit nicer to hold. And because it is a bit shorter and the cameras are in this vertical alignment, the fingerprint reader is easier to reach. The second reason is the price. And that's where things get a little bit more complicated because in the UK on Samsung's website, the S9 Plus starts at 869, whereas the Note 9 starts at 899. That's just 30 pounds more, and that's for 128 gigs of storage on both. Now in the US, the 128 gig S9 Plus costs 889 versus 999 for the Note 9. So that's a $110 difference. Or if you go for the 64 gig S9 Plus, it's a $160 difference. But weird pricing aside, the S9 Plus has been out since March, April time. And so chances are you can find this now discounted or on a promotion. So yes, the S9 Plus is a little easier to hold and a little bit cheaper depending on where you buy it. Although not as much as I would have thought it would be, especially here in the UK. But that's about it. For everything else, the Note 9 is just better in every way. You have the option of getting this with 512 gigs of built-in storage and 8 gigs of RAM versus 256 and 6 gigs on the S9 Plus. Although they both do support micro SD cards up to 512 gigs. As well as that, the Note 9 ships running Android 8.1 versus Android 8.0 that's currently on my S9 Plus. That's not a big deal, but it may mean we get software updates sooner on the Note. The cameras are near enough identical with dual 12 megapixel cameras with an f1.5 to f2.4 variable aperture on the main lens and a two times optical zoom on the other. The only difference is Samsung have added some intelligent AI features on the Note 9, particularly for things like scene detection. But the changes are fairly minor and the quality of the photos is near enough identical. So those are pretty minor differences, but there are two big reasons that I would definitely go for the Note 9 over the S9 Plus, and that is the battery life and also the S Pen. With the new Note 9 packing a whopping 4,000 milliamp hour battery versus 3,500 on the S9 Plus. In my tests, after an hour of YouTube, an hour of Instagram, and an hour of gaming, the S9 Plus had 58% of its battery remaining versus 65% on the Note 9. Using them both for a full working day, I had around 15% of my battery left on the S9 Plus by 11 p.m. at night versus 26% on the Note 9. That is quite a big difference. And then of course, we have the S Pen. Now, not everyone's gonna be that bothered about this, but it is a nice option to have. And for me, just being able to pull it out and then make some to-do list notes or a grocery shopping list with screen off memo or mark up some screenshots is actually pretty handy. But as I say, if the S Pen isn't a big deal for you, you can just leave it in the phone and never use it if you prefer. So they're the big differences, but to be fair, these phones have a lot in common. They share the same Snapdragon or Exynos processor, depending on where you live, headphone jack, IP68 water resistance rating, AKG tuned speakers, the same screen resolution, the same annoying Bixby button, and support for Samsung's DeX. So having used both phones side by side, for me, I think the Note 9 is the clear winner. But as I say, if you don't want the S Pen or don't really care about it, those extra couple of hours of battery isn't a big deal, or the bigger storage, then I guess you may as well save some money and go for the S9 Plus. So that's what I think, but what do you reckon? Which one would you go for? Vote in the poll at the top right, and of course also let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching guys. Do click that like and subscribe button down there somewhere if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me. And I'll see you guys next time right here on the Tech Chat.